It's money time at Money9 and here is all the personal finance news that matters to your pocket and your life. Let's begin with some good news today. Insurance companies can now launch plans according to the needs of the consumers. Now, all the non-life insurance companies will be able to offer different types of health insurance and general insurance plans. These institutions will be able to sell more customized and innovative insurance plans designed to fulfill every need of the citizens. Earlier, insurance companies had to take prior approval of the regulator IRDA before launching such types of products. Next up, check the purity of gold with a click. If you want to find out the purity of the gold article that you have purchased, you just need to download the BIS CARE app. Click on the verify hallmarking ID to know its purity. HUID number is a unique identifier assigned to each gold product. You can also find out whether a gold jewellery is hallmarked or not. If that gold article has the BIS logo, purity or fineness grade and the HUID number embossed on it, then that article will be considered as hallmarked. Cost of hallmarking a gold item is 35 rupees. To get a hallmarked item tested, it costs 200 rupees. Next up, tomato prices are hitting the roof. Tomato prices are increasing day by day in the country. Currently, tomato is being sold at an average price of 52 rupees per kg throughout the country. Just one month ago, it was at around 30 rupees per kg. In Mumbai, tomato is being sold at 74 rupees per kg. Prices have more than doubled in the last one month in India's commercial capital. In Kolkata, prices of tomato has increased by more than three times in the same period. In some cities, tomato prices have even skyrocketed to more than 100 rupees per kg. However, people in Delhi had some respite as tomato was still available at 39 rupees per kg in the national capital. And staying with prices, the retail prices of sugar may increase in the range of 5 to 6 percent in coming days. According to a cabinet note floated by the food ministry, the government may buy sugarcane from farmers at 5% higher than the current price. According to industry experts, this could translate into increase in sugar prices by 5 to 6%. Currently, the government buys sugarcane from farmers at 2.9 rupees per kg, while sugar is sold at 31 rupees per kg in the market. The government has capped sugar prices at 44 rupees per kg. The government might raise this limit. And now for some news on real estate. Properties above 25 lakh rupees will get expensive in the national capital. According to a latest decision of the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, the price of second-hand homes valued above 25 lakh rupees are going to increase. The Municipal Corporation has hiked the transfer duty by 1%. Currently, if a person sells or purchases a property in Delhi, he has to pay a transfer duty of 3%, while women pay transfer duty of 2%. The hike will be applicable only on transfer duty and it will not impact buyers aiming to purchase properties priced below 25 lakh rupees. And now for some news on the economy. SBI Research has revised its projection of GDP growth in FY23 by 0.2% to 7.5%. It has revised the GDP growth projection by considering how inflation is going to pan out and the upcoming rate hikes which RBI is expected to take. The SBI's report has also projected the average inflation to remain below 7% for the entire FY23. The report also foresees the Apex Bank to increase the repo rate to a maximum of up to 5.5%. Next up, here is some action by social media firms Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram have taken action against more than 1.3 lakh violent hate speech and inciting content in April. According to Meta Platforms, the parent organization of Facebook and Instagram, there has been a continuous rise in postings of violent and inciting contents on the two social media platforms. It said that such types of violent contents are generally in the form of posts, photos, videos or comments. Meta has taken action against all such types of contents by removing it completely or covering photos or videos that may be disturbing to some audiences with a warning. Now some news on rural demand. Data and analytics firm Nielsen has said that the demand in rural India has plunged by more than 5% in fourth quarter on a year-on-year -year basis. The demand has fallen the highest in the last nine months. This has happened because FMCG companies have increased prices of their products many times during this period. The analytics firm has also said that the rate of increase in prices of various categories of products in the March quarter was higher in rural areas as against urban areas. Companies like HUL, Godrej Consumer and Mariko have said that they had no choice but to hike prices due to higher input costs. 
and staying with demand financial advisory services firm Deloitte said people in the 18 to 54 age group have said they were concerned about how they are going to save money in future. They were already preparing themselves for financial instabilities which they are expecting to likely hit them in the future. The report also mentions that both discretionary and non-discretionary spending are continuously falling in India. The financial advisory services firm has also said that inflation and weakening rupee have driven the citizens to become more circumspect about spending. And we end today's money time with UPI. The UPI transactions in the country crossed 10 lakh crore rupees in May. This is a record high since the launch of the payments platform in 2016. And when it comes to the number of transactions, that stands at a whopping 5.95 billion in May, which is another feather in the cap. Back in April, UPI had processed 5.58 billion transactions, amounting to 9.8 lakh crore rupees. Despite having a high base, the volume of transactions was up by 6.63%, while the value was up by 5.91% on a monthly basis. Year-on-year, year, UPI transactions have more than doubled in terms of both volume and in value. That's all for today on Money Time at Money9. For more such videos, subscribe and keep watching Money9 English's YouTube channel. Do like and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.